How to get your dog to stop pulling on the walk. First, let's talk about why your dog pulls. Dogs pull because they're excited about something, they walk faster than us, they've got energy to burn, they wanna move towards things that they want like other animals, smells, and prey. Dogs pull typically because they either don't understand that they're not allowed to, or they just lack impulse control to not move towards things that they want to. That's why. How do we fix it? You do not, your, your walk is a representation of a lot of different things that often involve impulse control. If your dog is allowed to go to whatever, move whatever, do whatever it wants prior to the walk, you can probably take a guess as to what they're going to do on the walk. So there's many different things that will contribute to your dog wanting to pull on the walk. Number one, something that you need to consider is what is the structure in the house does your dog have to wait be patient and be mindful to get things that they want in the house when you open the door do they immediately rush through when you get out the leash are they super excited all of those things are going to reinforce pulling because excitement reinforces pulling excitement is the reason typically for the dog pulling unless you're dealing with like a nervous dog and that's a whole other box of can of worms that i'm not going to open right now the second thing is teaching your dog how to respond to leash pressure and being a little bit more engaged with you. Now, some people prefer to constantly feed treats on the walk. That doesn't deal with the emotions behind why the dog is pulling. I wanna get to a point where my dog's a bit more neutral and a bit more calm on the walk, and that comes in many different forms. So we have, what are we doing before the walk? What's the relationship in the house? What are we doing when we're preparing our dog for a walk? And then finally, when we're on the walk, does our dog understand how to respond to the equipment Equipment that we're using, whether that's teaching them leash pressure with a gentle leader, or a front clip harness, a prong collar, whatever it might be, we need a tool that gives the human more physical leverage and teaching the dog that you pulling is not going to get you to where you want to go fast.